Welcome to Only 411 Destinations, the world's premier online portal for explorers and travelers that want the most out of life. What good is living a life you've been given if all you do is stand in one place? Get out and explore. Only 411 is here to help. Better get to living and explore the world both near and afar. Only 411 provides you with the information to make your next trip a memorable adventure. Stay informed with Only 411. Click to subscribe, ring the notification bell, and share this video with others that need the 411. While visiting Iowa, you get an opportunity to explore great art centers and other historic sites. You might want to do something related to sports or maybe watch them. You can also join Ragbri, a week-long bike race that expands the entire state traveling from small towns. Before we start our video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future uploads. Number 11. Grotto of the Redemption One of the unique attractions in Iowa, Grotto of the Redemption is also known as West Bend Grotto, which comprises nine separate grottos, all built from precious stones and gems, and handcrafted by a local pastor and a few other helping hands. Luckily, the cave is open for visitors every day of the year, whether of your denomination or religion. The West Bend Grotto is a remarkable example of what one man with a mission can accomplish in a lifetime. Number 10. American Gothic House Grant Wood is arguably one of the most traditionally important artists of the 20th century. Many of his most important works include his Midwest roots as inspiration. Woods' American Gothic shows a farmer and his wife standing outside their single-story white home, recognizable to nearly every American and international art enthusiast. The house that serves as the backdrop of this masterpiece is open for anyone to see. People visiting the place usually pose for a picture as the frowning farmer or his wife in front of the house. The adjacent American Gothic House Center also offers its visitors details on the life of Grant Wood and the history of the house he famously painted. Number 9. Herbert Hoover National Historic Site Herbert Hoover, the 31st President of the United States, is currently the only president from Iowa. Neighboring his birthplace in a small town of West Branch, a Memorial National Historic Site celebrates his life, history, and impact on our nation and beyond. While you are visiting, it's recommended to check out his humble beginnings, the birthplace of Herbert Hoover, and other preserved landscapes and buildings. You can also visit the gravesite of Herbert Hoover and First Lady Lou Henry Hoover. While it's fascinating to see these buildings stuck in time, most of your visit to Herbert Hoover National Historic Site will be taken up by the Presidential Library and Museum. This impressive curated collection offers rotating exhibits and a permanent exhibit focusing on Hoover's life and legacy. Number 8. Des Moines Art Center The Des Moines Art Center has been offering a venue for locals and its visitors to enjoy art since 1948. It also features rotating work of photography, painting, and sculpture. This museum also offers mixed media displays and permanent collections ranging from Georgia O'Keeffe to Edward Hopper. You can also spot some eye-catching collection of sculptures in the heart of downtown. The John and Mary Papa John Sculpture Park downtown is something you should not miss. Between Grand and Locust, near the Des Moines Public Library, this sculpture park also features rotating works with a few permanent installations that have come to represent the city. And remember, the Des Moines Art Center is free to visit. Number 7. The Bridges of Madison County the bridges of Madison County provide the chance for a scenic adventure in Winterset, approximately 30 miles south of Des Moines. These beautiful bridges have inspired countless photographs, numerous visits, and even best-selling novel-turned-movie. Before the bridges of Madison County became a blockbuster, the bridges were simply a part of life for the people living in this area in the late 19th century. Today, six of the original 19 covered bridges that once stood here remain five of which are in the National Historic Register. Around 80 miles covered Bridges Scenic Byway is a fantastic way to tour the bridges and the fabulous natural scenery. Three of the bridges require travel on a gravel road. The Madison County Chamber of Commerce offers group and personal tours of the covered bridges. A culminating cultural experience takes place every year with the Madison County Covered Bridge Festival in October. Even without the scenic covered bridges, 
Madison County and the city of Winterset are worth a visit. After you've spent a sunny afternoon exploring and photographing the covered bridges, it's worth your time to check out Winterset's historic town square. Number 6. Ragbri Perhaps one of the most quintessential things to do in Iowa, as we talked about before, is that if you are interested in sports and cycling, it must be worth visiting this non-competitive bicycle ride. Ragbri is a week-long bicycle race that spans the entire state. The route travels from east to west and showcases Midwestern culture through friendly people, small towns, and open landscapes. An acronym for the Register's annual bike race across Iowa, Ragbri has lasted more than 60 years. This annual summer event attracts thousands of cyclists, support vehicle drivers, and racing enthusiasts every year. It's a non-competitive ride, so it's all about the journey along the way and the community celebrations that line the entire state route. Small towns blossom with roadside attractions, including live music and fresh watermelon slices. Costumes and customized bicycles are also a big part of the event. The route changes every year, and the cities and small towns selected for overnight stops transform into major block parties. The entire Ragbri route and experience are fun for the whole family, with younger kids or adults often opting to ride the less than average 60 miles the route covers every day. Number 5. Amana Colonies The Amana Colonies of eastern Iowa comprises seven villages that takes its visitors back into the past. For many years, this place stayed isolated by any outside influences. Nothing interfered with its communal lifestyle. The history of Amana Colonies dates to the mid-19th century when the German Patists first broke soil in this isolated location. Today, the Amana Colonies are known and listed as a National Historic Landmark, the community encourages tourists to experience and explore the slower pace of life by visiting their historical structures, shopping, dining, and local establishments, and exploring the scenic surroundings on bike paths and walkways. Annual festivals at Amana Colonies also beckon tourists from across the state, from the sausage-making Worst Fest to the Springtime May Fest. For a better experience of the Amana Colonies, Spending a night or two in the area is recommended. Zuber's Homestead Hotel is one of the numerous bed and breakfast options nearby. If you have made it this far in the video, make sure you stick around to the end. And if you like our video, make sure to show us some love by clicking on that like button. Number 4. Maquoketa Caves State Park The exclusive natural site of Iowa, Maquoketa Caves State Park, offers a look into the world below your feet. This popular state park has numerous above-ground hiking trails to explore bluffs, woodlands, and a mesmerizing natural wonder known as Balanced Rock. But the main reason to explore this park in eastern Iowa is the caves. The Dance Hall Cave is a lighted cave with high ceilings and a walkway for claustrophobes. And for those that don't mind squeezing into tight spaces, Maquoketa Cave State Park also offers access to many other caves that require flashlights to explore. A large campsite in the park is set up for tents and RVs. Number 3. State Capitol The Iowa State Capitol building in Des Moines is more than just a gold-doomed city symbol. It's a portal into Iowa's history. Located on Grand Avenue atop a hill, the State Capitol has an excellent view of downtown Des Moines and houses the Iowa Senate, the Iowa House of Representatives, the Iowa Supreme Court, and many of the offices of the state's top elected officials, including the governor. Besides being the central location for much of Iowa's government, the state capitol also stands as an impressive display of architecture and design. It features many historical artifacts and interesting Iowa exhibits that you can explore on a self-guided tour. Number 2. National Czech and Slovak Museum and Library the National Czech and Slovak Museum and Library in Cedar Rapids is a large institute dedicated to sharing the stories and culture of the Czech and Slovak people. It also strives to help the public better understand their freedoms and how history has led to our present point as a society. The National Czech and Slovak Museum and Library meets these goals through its permanent exhibits, educational traveling presentations, and special events for the whole family. The downtown area of Cedar Rapids is less than a mile to the north, including other attractions like the Paramount Theater to round out a day trip. 
Across the 12th Avenue Bridge, the African American Museum of Iowa offers more cultural intrigue. The hotel at Kirkwood Center provides the best place to stay for weekend visits south of the city. Number 1. National Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium Operated by the Dubuque Historical Society, the National Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium features collections, exhibits, and live animals that reflect the cultural and geographical importance of the mighty Mississippi and all national rivers that define the country. The Mississippi River makes up the eastern border of Iowa and defines much of the livelihoods of surrounding communities. The National Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium strives to showcase the vital role this river and its watersheds play on the environment and people, featuring permanent exhibits like the Mississippi River Discovery Center and an immersive 4D theater. The museum also features consistently rotating displays that are bound to catch the attention of adults and children alike. The museum and aquarium also house animals that represent wildlife in and around riverbanks, including otters, alligators, and sturgeon. Other exhibits at the museum also offer its visitors a blacksmith shop, a stingray touch pool, and the historic Lodgson Sand and Gravel Barge. If you want to stay overnight in Dubuque, the historic hotel Julian Dubuque is only a few blocks away from the museum. The city also has some of the best resorts in Iowa. If you are going to visit any of these places, or you have already made them a destination, let us know in the comments section below and hey, if you liked our list of top 11 destinations, then don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to only 411 destinations, and ring the bell icon so you can get notified. Until next time, we hope you reach all your destinations safely.